I'm Tom Costello at NBC News in Washington. Tim Ryan and I started at Nine News at about the same time in the late 80s. I was a very green new reporter. Tim was a new assignment editor. I graduated from CU. He graduated from Mizzou. Despite that, Tim has been a trusted colleague, a confidant, and a dear friend for 30 plus years. He is a student of history and an eloquent and fierce defender of all of us when what we do is under fire from those who say journalists are the enemy. He cares deeply about broadcast news, about Denver and Colorado, about the issues facing the state, the way we cover them, and how all of us can encourage and mentor the next generation and he is a very good man. Tim, your decades-long commitment to journalism in Colorado and beyond make you so deserving of this special honor. Congratulations, buddy. Tim, Tim, Tim. What to say about Tim Ryan? I worked with Tim for more than 30 years, and for 20 of those years, he and I ran the newsroom at KUSA. I could not have had a better partner and confidant. We had that yin and yang thing that just seemed to work. I think Tim is fabulous for many reasons, but three come to mind. Journalist, storyteller, human being. Well, let's start with journalist. Tim was once described as the Nine News standard bearer, and he is. Let's just say that Tim is one of the best people I've ever known. He's a great partner, a great friend, and many of his friends comment at his love for his family and the love of his amazing children. To say that Tim is a great dad would really be an understatement. Alex and Danielle and Jack know they won the best dad lottery. I'll close with a congratulations, Tim, for joining the Silver Circle. And if you see Tim tonight, be aware that that storytelling skill could keep you well into the early morning hours just listening to him weave a tale. Hi, I'm Christy Gonzalez. I'm president and general manager of KVU Television here in Austin, Texas. You might think that Tim Ryan has always been in Denver, but I'll remind you that there were two and a half years where he left and he came here to Central Texas for his first news director job here at KVU. After 26 years of being the assistant news director, he came into that role so ready with such kindness, such skill. Tim is a great coach and nurturer of talent and really helps so many journalists grow their career here in Texas. That time working with you was awesome. And we are so proud of you for being inducted into the Silver Circle tonight, Tim. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Taronda Thomas, and I was a reporter under the tutelage of Tim Ryan for about a decade at KUSA. Now I am in Philadelphia as a reporter, and I have to say, I have to thank Tim Ryan every single day for teaching me the value of being thorough. It was incredible for me to be able to have Tim in my corner and to see his example of being so dedicated and so passionate about what he does. So it really built me into that same form. But Tim, I have to say, your suit and tie game is unmatched. Thank you for blessing us with those crazy shirts and ties. And if anyone is deserving of this honor, being in the silver circle, it's you. Congratulations, Tim. Journalists like you don't need to be reminded that journalism is the opposite of a comfortable, relaxing existence. These are hectic, stressful jobs, crazy hours, unpredictable days, nights, and weekends, competition, angry viewers, spelling. This is a tough business, and it's a wonderful business. We get to witness history and be the first to tell the world about it. Every day is different. The stories we produce satisfy the most powerful urge inside every true journalist, curiosity. It isn't lost on me how fortunate I've been during my career. There has never been a dull moment. One day in 1986, I thought I might die alone on what I believed was a dry lake bed in Arkansas that it turned out was actually like one of those quicksand scenes in an old movie. I thought I might die many times when I asked reporters to change their schedules at the last minute during the years when I made schedules. Instead, I've been remarkably lucky at every step of the way. Lucky to be born into a large, loving, and hardworking family in rural northern Missouri. Lucky to have had the opportunity for an interesting education at the University of Missouri that exposed me to ideas I'm still thinking about 40 years later. Lucky to have met my favorite journalists who gave me my favorite people. 
and especially lucky to have discovered a line of work that attracts the most interesting people. People who are curious, creative, stubborn, relentless, passionate, and dedicated to the idea that everyone should have access to information about what is happening and why. I'm grateful to all the producers who come to work at midnight, the reporters and photojournalists who stand in the rain and cold and suffer verbal abuse for doing their jobs, to the anchors for their ability to carry a breaking news story for hours on end with no time to prepare, to the meteorologists who we somehow expect to precisely predict the future, to the editors, assignment editors, digital producers, directors, and technicians who create the magic of broadcast news. And in spite of the changes and challenges journalism endures, it really is still magical to me. Thank you all for taking me with you on this crazy trip for the past 38 years. I owe you all more than I can repay.